Puede ser, con mi moto, en la lancha. No, no. No, no es como el, no. el barco. Good afternoon internet, it is 4 o'clock in the afternoon and welcome back to the channel. Now I know what you're thinking, why is it 4 o'clock and what am I doing? Well the reason that I am leaving now at 4 is because tonight I'm going to spend the whole night on a ferry. So let me show you on the map what my plan is. So I am now on Isla de Ometepe, I am on the south part. And my plan is to go to San Carlos and you can't reach this place by road, there's no connecting road on this side. So either I would have to take the ferry back and ride all around Lake Nicaragua or I can catch the ferry which goes from Alta Gracia here and it goes through the night and then it ends up in San Carlos. Now that ferry didn't run for many years because the water levels in Lake Nicaragua were too low but they restarted the service again in October last year. Uh, but it only goes once per week, so I shouldn't miss it. The ferry leaves at 9 o'clock tonight, so I'm leaving early. It's only 15 kilometers to the, to the dock, but I don't want to ride in the night time. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to leave now. I have to get some petrol, uh, I have to go to the ATM, and then I can hopefully find some food somewhere. And I'll just wait at the dock until it's there and it's leaving. I have already packed up Alaska, she's ready to go. Look at her. The weather does change very quickly around here and suddenly it becomes super windy. I really hope that the weather is going to be good tonight because remember the crossing when I came here? Oh, that was really rough and I expect this ferry to be a lot bigger than the one that I came on. <laughs> but I have no idea. So we'll see. Uh, lleno, por favor. Sí. Buenas, cajero. It didn't accept my card, so I couldn't get cash out. So I have to do that uh, probably in uh, San Carlos, will be the first place again. So now I'm just gonna check out where the ferry leaves from, see how the situation looks there, and then. Uh, Look for some food. So now in Alta Gracia, from where the ferry supposedly leaves. This is the road to where the ferry leaves I think but I, I'm actually not sure from where it leaves so I still have plenty of time to <laughs> investigate and find the location I think it's down this way chickens pigs everything hey little piggy This, this is the main road, I think. I mean, it should be a car ferry. I think. Here, it should be here. See, si, Granada, Alta Gracia, San Carlos. Oh, that looks like a tiny little thing. Oh dear. 
Buenas. El, el ferry por San Carlos viene aquí, ¿no? Hola. El, el ferry por San Carlos viene aquí. A las nueve. O a las nueve. Ya. Ok. Ticket is in the pocket. So it turns out that it's not actually a car ferry at all. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Um, it, it takes motorbikes and people and probably some goods, but no cars. So I don't think it's going to be very big anyway. Um, but I got my ticket and um, yeah, it leaves nine o'clock. So I'm now just quickly riding back to Alta Gracia. See if I can uh, find something to eat there and then uh, come back here. This is the main square of uh, Alta Gracia and I saw on the way up I passed all these little little tiny shops and some do food I think. So I'm gonna Check one out. This one. Maybe. Hola. Tiene comida. ¿Qué tiene? Bueno, tengo pollo. Eh, cerdo, res. Y pollo con verdura. Okay, sí. Porfa. O gallo pinto con tortilla. Con tortilla. Sí. Sí, también. Y pollo con verduras. Sí. Okay, okay. ¿Mi moto aquí está bien? Sí. Sí, gracias. Hola. Hola, yo pensaba que no. No soy hombre. So they, they pulled a really nice little thing here with Phil Christmas theme, even though Christmas was a really long time ago. I love it anyway. Got some tortilla, some gallo pinto, uh, which is rice and beans, and some chicken with some vegetables. So that's a pretty good dinner, if you ask me. Adios, gracias, ciao. The sun is setting quickly now, so just gonna go to the ferry place and uh, wait there. Alaska is popular with the piggies. A lot of people have showed up in the meantime, it has gotten dark. The ferry is delayed already by half an hour, so it's 9.30 now. And everybody's lining up suddenly, but I still don't see a ferry. There we go. No idea how this is gonna work out. La moto la echan de Sí. ¿Dónde vamos a poner? Atrás. Sí, atrás. Ok. ¿Espero aquí? Sí, espera. Ya. Yeah. So, I go on last. I don't know, before or after the bananas. <laughs> or rather plantains, actually. Ok, I got told to take the bags off. The ferry is playing some super loud... I don't know, what is this? Disco from... From the from the 70s, 80s. There goes Alaska. Adentro o pongo en moto? Usted lo lleva eso. La moto no. Ok, ya. Yeah. Right. 
Alright. Gracias. Ah, está en primera. Bueno. Ahí está. Sí. Alaska is already uh, secured. Looks pretty okay. But yeah, this will take a while. <laughs> the only thing to do when you are faced with blurry music is to just embrace it. It's gonna be a very long night. Alright, it is now uh, 6 in the morning. I spent the whole night on a little bench, uh, so I'm a little bit broken. But okay, I did get some sleep. Um, I think we're almost there. Look at all those plantains. Crazy, right? <laughs> The sun is, I'll show you the sunrise, it's quite beautiful. <laughs> That's how you do it. <laughs> All right, I am in San Carlos and I am immediately going to inquire about the next uh, leg of my journey. It's going to be really a mission to get to where I want to, but I'm going to give it a go. Hola! Después me gustaría ir a um, uh, San Juan de Nicaragua. Entonces aquí hay información, ¿no? O en otro lado. Mañana sale una a las seis. Sale a la una. Seis. 6 de la mañana. Entonces mañana. Pero lenta. Lenta, sí. Pero necesito traer mi moto, entonces. ¿Puede ser o no? ¿Mm? ¿Puede ser con mi moto en la lancha? No. No. No, no es como, el, no no. como el barco. Hay solo hay como. Para, para pasajeros. Pequeños, pequeños. Hay, hay más grandes también, ¿no? Sí, Me pero dijeron. No, no para llevar la, la moto. ¿No? La puedes dejar aquí, sí, unos 20 córdobas por día, 20 córdobas. Ah, para parquear. Para parqueo aquí. Ah, sí, pero... Oh, uf, qué calor. <risa> pero el, el, el tema es que desde Río San Juan de... Eh, desde San Juan de Nicaragua quiero ir a Bluefields y después por, por camino. Entonces, ah, no la puede dejar, entonces no la puede dejar la moto. Ah. Sí. Sí. Ese es el problema. Sí, por este tengo que traer mi, mi moto. Pero ellos me dijeron que las lanchas que son más ancho, no. ellos también van. No sé, yo, 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 a mí me han informado que no. Pero puedo preguntar aquí. Hola. Si quiere, sálvese ahí y va ahí. Ok. Sí. Ok, voy a preguntar, porque si no... Ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. Tengo un problema. Para asegurarse. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Voy a preguntar. Uh -huh. Ok. He says it's not possible. Hola. Podría... Ah. ¿Usted trabaja aquí? No. No. Ah. Desayunando. Dígame. ¿Podría parquear aquí por un ratito? Estoy bien. Ok. Gracias. Okay, I had to be a little bit persistent. They also first said no, not possible. But then I was like, are you sure? I can just go on a cargo boat. And now I've just found one. So I'm just <laughs> going back to the port already. Barely left. I already spoke to the captain. He's leaving today to Castillo and then tomorrow morning we continue all the way to uh, San Juan de Nicaragua Ah, van juntos o no? Solo este? Van juntos Ah, van juntos, ah ya Y, ok This is the situation, two boats attached to each other and then we're gonna leave around one or two 
then we're gonna sail to El Castillo, which is about six hours. So we'll arrive there just before dark probably. And then tomorrow morning, we're gonna leave at five in the morning. And then we arrive at about five in um, San Juan. So it's like 12 hours on the river. I just bought myself some fruit. It looks, this looks like a potato, but apparently it's not. It's a, it's a fruit and it's called, what was it now? Fong, fong, yo, I, I can't even remember what it's called. I'm gonna cut it open now and see what's inside. Oh, it's very soft. Ah, see, not a potato, definitely. Let's see if it's any good. It tastes like, I would say a little bit pear-like. It tastes a little bit like a pear. Really quite nice, I have to say. So it's slowly getting fuller and fuller, as you can see. So we're gonna go with both, uh, I don't know if I already said that. So this one is gonna carry this one next to it, alongside. Um, but as you can see, Alaska is still waiting over there. So I don't know, I, I think they're gonna either put her over there or probably in the front actually. But uh, we'll see, it's now I think one o'clock already. So it's going to be a 200 kilometer river journey to San Juan de Nicaragua. Because now I'm still right here at the lake, Lake Nicaragua. And all the way until the Caribbean coast, the Atlantic coast, um, it's 200 kilometers. So it's going to be a really long journey. <laughs> So I just left to get some food <laughs> and exactly when I come back Alaska is already inside but maybe it's for the best that I didn't see the process to get her all the way from here all the way down there because it's always a little bit nerve-wracking so maybe it's better that I didn't see <laughs> but she's inside so that's good that's good I think we're almost uh, ready to go I think, see, all the cargo is here everything loaded we got some couches very nice They gave me a life vest. Suddenly, I think we're about to move. Um, they're all getting ready and they told me to go in here with my life vest. And then I think there are some military guys here that's gonna check our cargo or check, I don't know what they're gonna check, check something. So we're just waiting for that. And I think that we're off after that. And then Alaska is hiding behind all those drinks. Adios! <laughs> Life moves pretty slow here on the Rio San Juan, on the San Juan River. It's going really quite smooth and relaxed. I'm enjoying myself. I'm just <laughs> laying on the roof here and enjoying the view. It's so quiet here and slowly making our way to El Castillo um, because we're gonna arrive after dark there um, but El Castillo so maybe actually you will only see it um, the next morning so tomorrow we're going to uh, continue I think we're gonna leave at 5 in the morning so maybe you'll only see it then because then it's daylight but the place that we're going now El Castillo is called like that because there's a castle there and that castle was built there to protect Granada against pirates. Remember when I was in Granada and I showed you the oldest church in Central America and I told you that it was burned down by pirates. So um, yeah, to protect Granada from, from pirates, um, they built this castle here uh, against these uh, English pirates. Um, and that's, that's where we're going now. Uh, but I think it's probably another four hours, I think, before we get there.
I made it to El Castillo. I got uh, quite a bit of a sunburn today uh, being out uh, all day long. But anyway, uh, the last two hours is now I think 8.30. So it was seven hours sailing with this one. The last two hours, three hours were in complete darkness. Every now and then the captain used like a light, but most of it he was just sailing on memory. Really, really impressive. When we arrived here at the dock, maybe I can say, at the pier, uh, the guys made some phone calls and they found this guest house for me and somebody came to pick me up because it's a little bit of a maze through here. Um, and so this same person has to go and bring me back there tomorrow morning. I have to be back there at 10 to five in the morning. Um, so it's going to be a very uh, short night, I think. So I'm just gonna have a quick shower and then go to bed uh, because tomorrow, yeah, I have to get up really early and it's gonna be, I think, 12 hours tomorrow. Uh, I'll just show you on the map kind of where I am and where I'm trying to go because as you've probably noticed by now, I am in a remote part of Nicaragua and it's only getting more and more remote. Um, already in this place, there's no cars, there's no motorbikes. Where I'm gonna end up, there is no cars, there's no motorbikes, there's no roads, nothing. Um, it's, it's really kind of off grid. And so the only way to reach there um, is, is over this river, over the river San Juan. So I came from Isla de Ometepe, then I first took that overnight ferry to San Carlos. And then we started sailing over the river here. I'm now here in El Castillo, so that's still marked like this. And so tomorrow we're going to follow the river all the way down here to a place called San Juan de Nicaragua. So that is the place I want to reach. And also from tomorrow on the river will actually be the exact border between Nicaragua and Costa Rica. So, so far it was still all on Nicaragua's side, but from tomorrow on the river actually runs right here at the border. And um, it's actually really pleasant. It's so relaxing and the guys are so nice for me and they make me food and they make me drinks and yeah, it's just really nice. It's very unusual. Um, I am the first person who does this with bringing a motorcycle actually. Um, nobody's ever done this before. But hey, there's a first for everything and I thought it might be possible and yeah, it, it is. And actually it went a lot smoother than I thought because I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna go to San Carlos and then I might have to wait for a few days until I find something big enough to, to take me. Um, so I was just really lucky that they were leaving today. Um, and well, okay, I had to wait several hours, but uh, still it actually went quite smooth coming off that ferry and then hopping on uh, this little cargo uh, cargo vessel, boat, ship thing. Quick shower, go to sleep. Tomorrow's gonna be a long day. So that was it for today. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and then I'll see you in the next video.